Hello, everyone. My name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for a very special episode of My Girlfriend Watches. As you can tell, we're here at Matt's house, who until recently, I was under the impression had never seen Jurassic Park, which is why we've been putting it off this entire time. <laughs> But we get here, Matt says, sees the preview and goes, oh, I've seen this. <laughs> so uh, sorry for the wait, everyone. That was our bad. But Jen has not seen it, so this will be the first time watching. And the three of us should have some fun either way. The reason we're doing Jurassic Park is because it won a poll on Patreon. It was number one that people wanted to see. So if you would like to have your voice heard and your votes counted towards future series, make sure to check out Patreon. It's a great way to do that. And you'll get early access to select videos just like this one. So Jurassic Park, there's only so much I could say. I'm trying not to hype it up, but it's freaking Jurassic Park. Came out in 1993 to date for some of you guys watched. This came out the year that I was born. I went through a phase where I watched Jurassic Park as a kid and I went probably about two months of really horrific nightmares about dinosaurs. Like I couldn't sleep, I'd have, I'd have nightmares of like being stomped on by like T-Rexes or falling into raptor pits and like being my limbs being torn apart. It was a really bad experience. I got over that and I, of course now I love it as an adult, but that was a rough time. Jen, how are you feeling going into Jurassic Park? I had all these horrible nightmares. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm super excited about Jurassic Park. Who, well, Holden hates dinosaurs or did hate dinosaurs. I love, I love dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs now. So the, the idea, I, I know the basic concept of the movie. So having this world of dinosaurs is just really, really interesting to me. Obviously I know something happens and it goes crazy, but I know a lot of people have talked about this movie. It's been a movie I've wanted to see since I learned about the movie. We also went to Universal, saw a little bit of Jurassic Park like world there, which made it a little more exciting that we were gonna watch it. Yeah, so Park, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So I'm really, really excited about it. I think it'll be good. A lot of people have spoken about this movie like it's a classic. And from what I saw, like the CGI looks really, really good. Holden said it was made in 93, which just looking at it was a little hard for me to believe, but it looks really, really good. So I'm really excited. To the point about the CGI, uh, th this movie, I feel like a lot of movies we talk about are like, we're like revolutionary for the time. This is absolutely one of them. Uh, this is one of the first times that you could get CG characters with a moving camera. That was the first time that this was really done hmm. using computer graphics and stuff. There's a mixture of uh, obviously practical dinosaurs along with some of the CG stuff, but that's why it just blew everyone's mind at the time. And even by today's standards, this is a point of, I guess, contention or of issues people have with the current sort of CG state of modern movies. Because while I do enjoy like the later Jurassic Park movies, like Jurassic World, the movies that are made for today, to me, and a lot of the shots in this movie hold up better than the new movie. There's some reasons behind that. Um, some of the creative choices they made to sell the illusion a bit better. It's not really used as much today, but yeah, CGI is fantastic. Matt, even though apparently you've seen this before, how, how do you remember anything about it and uh, any thoughts going in? Yeah, I just, I forget things. But yes, I have seen the first one. I didn't know if you were gonna show me like the newest one or the 2018 sure kills. original Jurassic Park, very uh, first one. I wasn't really paying attention. So yes, watched this as a kid, 1993. I was, mm, I was three years old then, so I probably wasn't watching it at that time. My brothers were really into this. They really liked it. And actually, I was terrified too as a kid because of this, simply because of my brother and this one act that he would always do after I watched this movie for the first time, really young, and this is what it was. <laughs> you would do that to me as a kid and it would terrify me. I, I, yeah, probably not as scarred as you. I didn't have dreams like that and whatnot, but uh, I, I, I was always impressed with what they were able to do with this film, with the CGI. Like 93, I mean, that's that really, really impressive. Overall for me, I'm looking forward to watching it again. And no My Girlfriend Watches would be complete without a comment of the day. This one comes from Squid Inco. This was on our uh, Harry Potter Deathly Hollows Part 2 video. Thank you so much for commenting. When someone asks me if Snape is a good guy or a bad guy, I usually say he's a good guy. Whether or not he's a good person is debatable. And I think that just about sums it up. Thank you so much for that comment. But guess what? I'm not done. I got another one. Another one. This one is from Raul Duke. This was at our visiting Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. God, it's also- sounds, sounds terrible, good. It's also where uh, we got to see some of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs and stuff, which is really neat. Raul Duke says, uh, Holden is somehow both a fussy five-year-old and a sassy senior citizen. 
That's true. If you haven't seen that video, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for your comment of the day, guys. If you want your comment featured, make sure to leave us a comment down below letting us know some of your thoughts. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Jurassic Park. Hey, come here. Come here. Look at all this couch space. Just staring at him. Did you already slobber on you? No, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> yes, that's correct. I've, I've, you've ruined many of my shoes in this house. <laughs> What's up, bro, bro? What's up, buddy? Look at that classic Universal. Yes. That font is so classic. Like, it's iconic, yeah. Yeah, so classic. What Company. is this classified as? Horror or action? Probably, probably suspense. Thriller, maybe a little bit. I wouldn't say it's horror, but it's got some pretty scary moments. Really thought it would have qualified as sci fi. Sci fi, it would be sci fi too. A little bit of everything, which makes it so good. Even some humor, you know, some yeah. comedy. It's a romance. <laughs> it's a, a little bit. A it's, little. A, it's a rom-com. <laughs> Matt getting ready to play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we did the ride at Universal and that's the thing that almost dropped on us? This is what I envision it like when Jen's getting home with like all of the fruit we're holding. <laughs> it's a forklift, of, forklift of fruit. <laughs> Having Matt here was a bad move on my part. <laughs> the sound design for these uh, dinosaurs is awesome as well. Wow, I forgot every bit of that. Maybe I haven't seen it. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know. We started watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I've seen the same thing. Every time I see the Dominican Republic, I just think of those girls that come from that show. You need the big pool with the house. <laughs> yeah, on the left's not really a great actor. Not really giving that rock. It's due. Because grunts like me, he's a digger. That's so cool, man. Really interested in this type of thing. Like the actual archaeology stuff. Hmm. Like Ross. Paleontologist. <laughs> From Friends? Yeah. yeah. The really? Show, the show you hate? Yeah. Huh. You know that Matt hates Friends? Yeah. Jenna loves it. I hate Friends. Can't stand it. Are you watching it, Ray? <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the humor has just never done it for oh. me. We'll revisit this later, I'm sure. <laughs> this new program's incredible. <laughs> Shows how far we've come. I was gonna say. How fast we've come to. I mean, that's literally the Dell computer I just bought. Turn backward, just like a bird. Look at the vertebrae. That doesn't look very scary. Oh, you're about to get the back hand. More like a six foot turkey. Bruh, it is 93. You could go missing and no one would care. <laughs> he slashes at you with this. Here. Here. Maybe across the belly. He takes his job very seriously. <laughs> How old is this kid? Got the point across though, that's how we do it in 93. <laughs> the girl was like, give me all the gene. What the hell do you think you're doing in here? Holden. I know, me and Matt's house. <laughs> Delighted to meet you finally in person, Dr. Glenn. Why is he dressed like that? It's just like a, in all white. He's just a rich guy. Spared no expense. If I could just persuade you to sign off on park, compensate you by fully funding your dig for a further three years. Where's the plane? Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! Trying to look like a secret agent? <laughs> I thought that was so cool. San Jose by then. <laughs> dig up, dig up look at Dodson. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they put them so low in the helicopter? It looks like they're on a boat. Doctor Seth, there it is. Dun 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 There's something about the music it really brings it all home. True. Yeah. If this isn't me, I don't know what is. Just makeshift it. Do what you can. Do what you got to do. They would do like a reboot for this. They're doing Jurassic World now, which maybe a soft reboot. This the events of this took place, but they're barely mentioned. Fix that dent, guys. <laughs> Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. I shut you down, John. <laughs> wow. For 93, I think this looks really great for 93. Yeah. yeah. Now, maybe a little bit, not so much. Yeah. I think it looks really good. Yeah. It looks really good. Like the fact that it's going behind the tree mm -hmm. and stuff, like the leaves. Yeah. There's a little shake in the camera when it hits the ground. Say again. <laughs> we have a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sattler. <laughs> Welcome. 
to Jurassic Park. That looks great. They do like this haze, like yeah. to show yeah. it's in the distance, you know? Yeah. Like it looks far away. Oh, it's really good. They do move in herds. They do move in herds. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. Really opened myself up for an insult here. Uh, how long ago was it that dinosaurs were really on the earth? <clears throat> Millions of years ago. Yeah, right. Depends if you, yeah, like, young Earth, there are young Earth creationists who are like 6,000 years. Yeah. But evolutionarily speaking, yeah. hundreds of millions. Like, there are certain dinosaurs that didn't even exist at the same time. Like, I think the T Rex mm -hmm. and the Triceratops were like at different times. This is me doing any green screen work. <laughs> this is like those videos of like kids practicing After Effects for the first time. <laughs> Where did you come from? From your blood. Like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh -huh. like oh my god. Mm -hmm. For me to speculate on the possibilities of extracting DNA from hundreds of millions of years ago, <laughs> it's pretty funny to think about. COVID. <laughs> yeah, so they're saying they're missing like bits of this DNA strand, so they use modern day frogs to kind of fill in the gaps. I don't know what it is about his character for me, but he's just always bubbly. I, I just I mm -hmm. enjoyed it. I don't know why. Yeah. I think he did a great job. Are these characters uh, auto erotica? No, no, no. What? I don't know. What this is not Chuck E. Cheese. This was found later that afternoon after <laughs> uh, strangling himself in the closet. I just realized that he's wearing shorts and a suit top. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're right. He is. Do you understand the confidence you have to have to rock that outfit? Oh my gosh, she's in Law and Order SVU. Yep. gonna kill you when I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to break through the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> There's no unauthorized breeding in Jurassic Park. All the animals in Jurassic Park are female. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Want one? Mm -hmm. Life will not be contained. Life uh, finds a way. We bred raptors. <laughs> Looks like Boston. You're not gonna be crazy about this park, because neither am I. They're feeding the cow to the dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur's gotta eat. They should all be destroyed. It's not fine. It's also make believe, guys. I just want to. Cow was not killed. Oh, cow's probably dead now, but. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> ate them. <laughs> Shout out to our vegetarian subscribers. We've been Vegans, we're, yeah. We're joking around. Wanting to be vegan, but at the same time, I understand Dang. the physical benefit. Like, I, I really. Trust the emotions down. <laughs> Deny your feelings. Just like us Irish. <laughs> they were testing the fences for weaknesses systematically. They remember. Me to my Taco Bell bag when they bring nacho fries back. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, he doesn't think so. <laughs> Genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen, but you wield it like a, a kid that's found his dad's gun. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Congress. Oh. The only one I've got on my side is the blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> Grandpa! Kids! <laughs> Helicopter. <laughs> that little girl's hat and pants are now back in style. <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, touch screen then is pretty impressive, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> I know. That's that's a move that I've used before. That's I think. so awesome. <laughs> Hold on to your is that butt. Samuel Jackson? Yep. yep. So that Family Guy where he's like, yeah, Samuel Jackson's in everything, and it's like Brian directing like a porno, and he's like, okay, Samuel, I'm gonna have you. Hey, look. Did you ever play the video game back in the nineties? I don't think so. We spared no expense. If you look to the right, yeah, you said that already. You see a herd Dilophosaurus causing blindness and eventually paralysis. The He's got a chess game on that right computer, talking about how busy he is. Approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Yeah. Horrible. Well, they gotta eat. You never had lamb chops? Now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur tour, right? I really hate that man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. See? See? He could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> oh, there's Boston. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. Your life's work for something that's extinct to be able to see it. Yeah. You know? We're going to have to cut the tour short, I'm afraid. That is one big pile of s. 
<laughs> All of that code, the big red button that says execute. <laughs> Fences are failing all over the park. Are they heavy? Yeah. Then they're expensive. Put them back. <laughs> <laughs> that shot's been repeated in so many movies after this. The water. Yeah. Yeah. I took a guitar string and ran it through the cup, through the dashboard of the car. Here's the coat. That's been uh, disproven since this. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You turned the light off! That's cool. That's me. That'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew why he did that there. He already took care of it. Mm. Wants to be the hero. Shirt's kind of unbuttoned. You got change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the scene that's terrified Jenna for years. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, Tim. <laughs> Bye, Timmy. Tim! <laughs> Still got those goggles, buddy? They're both probably left by now, dude. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, I've gotta go. <laughs> She's not so bad. She's not so bad. Hmm. This thing looks creepy. Mm -hmm. Imagine your brother imitating this. In the dark when you were nine. I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that is pretty frightening. Yep. Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. You love it. But that's not what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he's uh, he's in hell right now, sweetie. <laughs> you okay? Not really. Is Dad ever build your treehouse? No. Damn it, Dad. This Never. is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's like the truck is chasing them. The Jeepasaurus Rex. Remind me to thank John for a lovely weekend. <laughs> What are you doing, dude? Drive. I think I'll have that on the tour. What was that? Golden Dream. Maybe. I love the like fossils and the pillars, you know, that they carved in. Yeah, that's cool. Just gigantic tubs of ice cream, that's awesome. Spontaneously change sex from male to female in a single sex environment. Wow. <laughs> Just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're flocking this way. Jar Jar. <laughs> Same way again. 
That's a little creepy. It's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down. The pirates don't eat the tourists. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> America. Now we're talking. They're actually not in America right now. This is a very embodiment of America. Oh, yeah, yes, oh, yeah. Well, he's Scottish, actually. You know. For the love of God. I think he's English. But yeah, I get your point. Yeah. Oh, he's got some quads. Bruh. <laughs> All right. Make it if we run. No. We can't. A lot more suspense than I remember. Go. No. Good start. Oh, okay, little Spider-Man move mm -hmm. there. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the kids could probably fit through those. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Kid, yeah, Tim probably could. <laughs> Some good suspense here. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Gotta be the last one. <laughs> Hope you weren't too attached to Timmy. <laughs> what? Yeah, they feed it to the T-Rex later so I can get away. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh. Oh, Mr. Arnold. Oh. Good boy. His hair is like sticking up. <laughs> That's scary. Tell the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> An odd angle. Oh. You sure the third one's contained? I must have figured out how to open doors. Falcon. That is Falcon. Yeah, Falcon right, does. I yeah. figured that out when I went over to dog sit for a few times. I was like, that door was closed when I left. <laughs> lighting looks so good on him. Yeah. It's all about that lighting. Mm -hmm. be terrifying. That would be. That'd be really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> we out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hand me that gun. <laughs> what are they just doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Hammond. <laughs> I feel much better now. Children, all right. Really cool uh, filmmaking factoid about to come up here. Nice. This here? Yeah. This scene? Yeah. She looks up. It's one of the first instances of facial replacement. Really? It's a different person. Yeah, we'll put her face. Huh. Titanic would do it again a few years later. Hmm. Let go. Poor Tim can't catch a break. I know. <laughs> Hello? Oh, God. After careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your park. So have I. How did he get in there? The T-Rex? Yeah. Walked in the door. Oh yeah, that's a good question. I thought there was a bigger opening. I'm not seeing really any sort of opening. Probably an area on the right or left. Thing. Dr. Hammond passed away a, like a couple years ago. Really? <laughs> Steven, look, at, look on the lens. Yeah, what are y'all doing? What are we doing, guys? Just finished Jurassic Park. Uh, this is such a classic great movie ahead of its time in nearly every single way and i love it matt i'll start with you since apparently you've already seen it because i want jen's thoughts for the for the end the final thoughts what did you think about it matt i forgot how fun this movie really is i forgot all the people that were in this it's been years since i've seen it but just so much fun and i think it even holds up like today like i you look at some movies from way back and you're like 
the the humor isn't there the cgi isn't there and it just feels different but this really just feels like it holds up and it's it's just a classic that seems to be timeless if that makes sense i don't know it just yeah, does that's, uh, that's what a classic means all right yeah just uh just a good flick, just a really, really good flick. Again, the CGI was fantastic, and for me, I have nostalgia built into this, so even some of the deaths to me are kind of funny, the way it happens, the, the dude on the toilet, and then, I'm glad he didn't die, but Timmy just getting electrocuted off the fence is hilarious to me. It's just, <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. Poor Timmy, he really got the crap kicked out of him in this movie, and I forgot about that, but just a great flick. There's a ton of like behind the scenes stuff about this movie I love. Corridor Crew, uh, which by the way, if y'all ever seen one of these videos, just feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to touch base with y'all. But Corridor Crew did a lot of stuff on Jurassic Park. There's actually a single frame that made it into this. It happened so fast you don't normally catch it, but there's a scene at the very end where the T-Rex comes and grabs one of the raptors, where if you go frame by frame, the final frame of the T-Rex holding the raptor, the raptor like disappears and it's just like gone because they didn't render it out properly, but no one caught it because you, you don't see, but our, our version will have that. So fun fact about that scene. Jen has been wanting to watch this movie with me for forever, and this is one of those movies, we have a handful, but this is one of those movies that I'm constantly like, we can't watch it, we have to do it for a video, so glad we finally got to watch it, and uh, I wanna know what you think about it. So Jen, I did not realize that you had that much anticipation around it, so I, now I feel a little bit of remorse. Yeah, you should feel really bad because we, we held off watching it together, so because I thought you hadn't seen it. You fly by the seat of your pants and I never know what we're watching and I forget. So when you're like, we're gonna watch whatever, I'm, I just, I don't give it a second thought. Yeah, well, when I ask you if you've never seen it before and you go, right, Am I right, Jen? Right thank that. you, Jen, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what we're watching. And so. you go, I've already seen it, or I've never seen it, Holden. I go, okay, well, I wanna watch that the three of us then. You probably mentioned four movies at once though. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it. I thought that it was very high energy, which I liked. I really thought that the main guy, I don't remember what his name. Alan? The guy dressed like God. Oh, Hammond. Hammond. <laughs> um, I really thought that I just wasn't going to like him, but even though I kind of feel like it's his fault for kind of opening Pandora's box as far as like dinosaurs, I, I liked him, you know, you couldn't really hate on him. Timmy or Tim, whatever his name is, the little kid, that kid is the hero of the movie. I mean, he was just put through hell and back, you know, and he was the youngest one. So I, I liked him and he had high energy too. I mean, he got thrown from that electric fence and just jumped back up and act like nothing happened. So I thought the kids did a really great job overall acting in particular the boy. I think that he did a really great job. There are so many scenes, especially in the kitchen where you could feel feel what they were feeling and imagine yourself in their place. So I think that that being said, the movie did a really good job at making you scared. Not, maybe not jump scare, but just like feeling your heart beat just at the thought of being in their position. I was surprised that the two kids and is it Alan? They were pretty much together the entire time through the movie. I thought that the group was gonna be all together, but I kind of liked that the way that they did it where there were just people kind of broken off into teams basically. That was uh, different from what I expected going into it, but I liked it. Obviously the most important thing for me was the CGI looked so good. I thought like from 1993, it was honestly gonna look like ass. I mean, but it looked so good. The kitchen scene, it looked really, really good. And um, seeing the T-Rex, it was scary. And just thinking about the movie or the description of the movie, I was very much worried that it just wasn't gonna hit on the head as far as being scary or real life, but it very much was. So I am, uh, very pleased with the CGI. The overall storyline I thought was really, really unique and I liked that a lot. I mean, your worst fear, like yes, the, the idea of having dinosaurs and being able to visit their world and what it was like is fascinating, but to view what would happen if it went wrong, I think it's brilliant. I also did not know that it was going to be sabotage. I actually thought going in that it was just going to be like something genuinely went wrong. Nobody was doing it on their part. I think it would have been nice to see the opposite. Like it just stuff went wrong, not somebody doing it um, or behind it, but it still went really, really well. And I thought that they had some very unique 
deaths. I mean, the, like Matt said, the guy sitting on the toilet, like that's just, that's crazy. I would be curious to see what the, how many films are there total? There's quite a few. I know at least three originals, and then I think there's either two going on three Jurassic World. At least three of like with these main, like with these actors. I could very much see this being a situation where this one is so fantastic, has the bar very, very high, and the follow-up films are just not very good at all. I would be anxious to see uh, what those are all about. I also, I know you mentioned behind the scenes, I would really like to see the behind the scenes for this movie. Oh, yeah. I think it would be really, really interesting. I really, really enjoyed it. It's very different from any type of movie I've seen. So yeah, it was really, really good. You're a big fan of like SeaWorld and stuff like that, right? SeaWorld, no. No. I can't stand SeaWorld, so, but aren't you, like you like zoos and stuff. I like animals, I like animals. I don't necessarily agree with having animals. There. Especially SeaWorld because you see that they genuinely do not take care of the animals. Yes. Refuges and places that genuinely take care of animals, I'm a little more okay with that. SeaWorld, absolutely not. What was I? Blackfish, go see it. I feel the same way, but I was thinking about this concept because I know like you're a big animal lover. So the concept of what they did here, if, if they could some, if they, obviously it worked out how it did, like evolution sort of took over, you know, uh, what did he say? like? life finds a way. Yeah. Do you think if this was possible, should we do that? Like so, clone. Should, yeah, let's just say some of this was possible, we could bring it back and all that. Should we do that? I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, there's just more risk than there is benefits. Yes. Um, I feel like it literally is just opening Pandora's box. It's, you cannot, and they stated it many times, you cannot control it. There's a difference between having a, T-Rex running around and a cow or a chimp, you know? Very, very different. I don't think that the, you could have any set of precautions to where nothing could go wrong. And I guess that would be my fear. I agree, I just, I was just interested to see what you would say. Yeah. A couple things, I actually, I, I, I would want them to bring back and a dinosaur. And you're the problem, Holden. No, no, well, let's not forget, this is fiction. This is make-believe. It's the same reason that people now are afraid of any form of AI or any type of technological progress. There's always gonna be that fear or be like, but what in the horror movie Skynet is gonna come? It's all just make-believe, okay? If we actually, if in the real world, we could actually use dinosaur DNA to bring back a dinosaur, we could, we would, we would the amount of information that we could get, like data that we could collect, would be possibly beneficial to the human race. But you can't deny the amount of power that comes with dinosaurs. I mean. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're void of responsibility at all, or like acknowledge, like Jeff Goldblum's character, he's like, no, there's no humility. There's nobody's humble here. I agree with that, but I'm just talking about like this purely the scientific ability to do that. And I hear other people like, you always wondered if you could, you never stopped to think if you should. I'm not just saying to go in unilaterally and be like, let's clone a three-headed cow or what? No, but I'm just saying we shouldn't shy away from progress because of things that could go wrong instead of let's move forward with progress because of all the things that could go right and could benefit. Anyway, back to the movie. <laughs> this is one of the few movies that I feel like is excels in every single way in terms of the character development of everyone. I felt like we knew who they were, we understood their, understood their purpose, and they all fulfilled their roles really well. From Dr. Hammond, to the lawyer guy, to the kids, to Dr. Grant, to the woman, uh, I forget her name, what's her name? Oh geez, I'm gonna get butchered for that one. Love that, special effects way ahead of their time. Progression of the story, the pace, all of it is great. One thing that you said about how you were like, I wish it wasn't sabotage, and we could have just seen kind of to Jeff Goldblum's point of it would it was going to naturally get to that point either way. Dr. Grant saw the eggs on the island. That would have had to have happened before like the whole park shut down. So it was almost as if, like when the sex changed from female to male, it was almost as if it was already beginning to get out of their, it was already going out of their control and they weren't even aware of it. I feel like the sabotage just sort of escalated it. And that was kind of their point, I guess. But I like seeing the eggs to show that it was already becoming an issue without them knowing. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're talking about they were, the, the population obviously would increase because they were able to mate. Yeah, well. But the scientists and Dr. Hamill were all like, they're all girls, there's no issue, there's no problem. And Jeff Goldblum's like, you, you don't know, life finds a way. So my point is that whether or not the guy with the Barbasol can intervened, 
it was already out of their control, just they were unaware of it. That's my only point. Let's go ahead and rate the movie. Matt, I'll start with you. What would you rate Jurassic Park? I'm gonna be optimistic here. I give it an eight. Give it an eight. Fun flick. Okay, that's pretty high for you. I'll me, I would rate this one, I'd rate this nine point five. This is a near perfect film. Dang. Okay. Jen, what about you? I think I'm gonna go with a uh, I'm gonna go with an eight point five. It was pretty good. I like the dinosaur aspect of it. Um, it was just minor little things that I, I think they could have done differently. But overall, I understand why people call this a classic. So it was a very good movie. And score, I wanna add the score to my list of things that makes this great. But that is it for our journey of Jurassic Park. Thank you patrons so much for voting on this one to watch. I loved it. Now I can finally show Jen some of the behind the scenes stuff because the making of the movie is great. By the way, real quick, there's a documentary on uh, Netflix. It's called The Movies That Made Us, you might be aware. They did one on Jurassic Park that you need to check out. It is fantastic. But that is it. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Check out Matt's channel. I'll have a link for him in the description below. Comment down below letting us know your thoughts on Jurassic Park. Subscribe if you want to see more fun content like this. Consider checking out my Patreon to get early access to select videos, polls, and other fun stuff. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Sorry, sorry, I made you wait too long. It was unintentional, my bad. Yeah, Matt's the reason this is coming out so late. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>